when you're building something for real, it speaks for itself. When you're in a bubble, you drown the signal in noise, more and more content. That noise is built on something. Here's where it gets real infrastructure, real infrastructure, real cost, real risk. You know, it's having this deja vu moment about food.com. Food.com basically was like a database full of all the restaurants, entertainment spots in the area. Consider it like DoorDash without the dash. And there was all these projections of how this would take over everything. I mean, making stuff up. Does it sound a little like AI? Predicting the future as their business being successful and then having us assume that's true? Yeah, signal. The market crashed and everything went away. So which side do you want to be on? Having something real or having something that somebody might buy, but when everything clears and the crash happens, there's nothing there. It's not real. It was hype. The bubble isn't just AI companies failing. They are planning to build data centers and this electrical infrastructure. And we know only a few will win. And there's at least seven planned. What happened to the ones who don't? And what happens to those who get charged for something that may or may not exist? Because when the crash happens, building data centers, a few of them aren't going to get built, right? When the companies that built these data centers lose the AI race, what happens to that infrastructure and who pays for it? Consumers do. They're already proposing to increase electrical costs to consumers to pay for these data centers. They're burning billions on this. This takes so much money, massive electrical infrastructure, massive energy costs. 